it's Kia here from Kia Creates, bringing you journal inspiration, stickers and playful creativity. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are celebrating the Torture Poets Department, Taylor Swift's new album release. So I'm going to be working in this. This is my Taylor Swift journal or my era's tour journal, but it's just about basically everything Taylor Swift because I am a big Swifty. As you can probably tell because I've already got my Torture Poet Department themed nails and bracelets ready. So I'm really excited to make some spreads. I've been listening to the album like pretty much non-stop. I haven't looked up any theories yet online or about anyone's opinions or breakdowns of the lyrics because sometimes I do that too quickly and I feel like it ruins the experience. So I've just taken my time to listen to it, make up my own mind about the songs. I want to write some reflections down in here. And I'm really excited to make some journal spreads that have the kind of black and white and sepia, like old files kind of vibe that the Torture Poet Department seems to have because I think that's going to translate really well into journal pages and it's just going to be so fun to make. Also I realise that I haven't really talked about this journal at all on this channel, maybe just on a couple of TikToks, so if you would like to see what else is inside here please let me know because I would love to film a flip through of everything I've done so far and talk you through what my initial idea was for this journal and then kind of what it's turned out to be. And I'm also thinking about making a video about making friendship bracelets and then also making some journal pages about making friendship bracelets, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in please let me know. I'm not sure how many of you out there in my creative community are also Swifty so it would be good to get an idea if that's something you're interested in because I have so many Swifty ideas that I'd love to share with you so please do let me know if you'd like to see that but to begin with let's just start with celebrating the release of this new double album I know I can't believe the theories were right it's actually insane so far I've only listened to the first like the actual Torture Poets Department album and then I've kind of been saving the extra songs because it feels like, oh my God, a double album, I need to not rush this release. So I'm probably gonna make the pages that I wanted to make about the like main album while I listen to the songs from the anthology for the very first time. So I'm very excited about that. I hope you enjoy making these pages with me and I'll see you at the end. A look at some of the materials I'll be using in this spread. I've got some Torture Poets Department images on white sticker paper and then printed onto brown sticker paper as well. I'm going to be using these little letter stamps, they kind of look like typewriter letters to me, I thought that was perfect. I've got a few old stamps for So Long London, I just thought they would work really well. And then I've gathered together some washi tapes, this one's new, that have the kind of rustic writing, old papers and files sort of theme and I'm really excited to use these. And then I also got some papers I thought would work well, some brown paper, some old maps, I need some black paper as well. And then just some stickers that I had in my journaling box that have like journals on or letters on them. It's like got a real distinct theme so it was really fun to find things that would match it for this one. These Look at these typewriter stickers, I was so excited to find these in my box, I forgot I had them so they're perfect. Obviously my glitter dots and then these old like correspondence themed stickers from Sticky Club also I think are going to work really well with this. I'm also going to be using some of this tissue paper, it's Harry Potter themed but the black and white writing I thought would work really well. Then I have these stamps which are like old books and quills and candles, I found them in the charity shop and I also found these scissors which have like a jagged edge that looks like it's been ripped or burnt so I'm excited to use these new finds for the first time. So let's get started. Most of this video is going to be a time lapse because you'll see I made a lot of spreads so if I did it in real time we would be here literally for hours because this is filmed over a series of a few days. So this first spread is me making like a title page for the Torture Poets department. It's going to just have all of the black, white, grey and sepia themed things that I can find on it and then I basically in the background just wrote all of the titles of every song on the double album so 31 songs and then just a bit about my feelings of like this album coming out and how I'm excited to listen to it all and analyze it all. I also doodled some paper clips on this I thought it went nice with the files theme I think they started off really well and as you'll see throughout all of the spreads that I make my doodles of paper clips get worse and worse and worse and they just become square swirls <laughs> but anyway here is the finished first spread the torture poets department title spread it's very busy I put a lot of stickers and a lot of details on it as I like to do and I just thought this was such a good start like I was really pleased to just dive into this theme even more when I saw how this one turned out now I really wanted to make a space where I could write about every song on that album so that's what these pages are going to be. Initially I was going to do four songs per spread but I ended up doing six luckily because I would have had to have made even more pages. 
So here I am dividing up the pages into six. I made the divisions with little strips of washi tape and then I'm just decorating each box, some with themed things like the typewriter in the Torture Poets Department song box because it goes with the lyrics of the song and then some of them are just random themed stuff. So I decided to stamp every single title of each song, which I kind of regretted a bit later because oh my god, all of the song titles are so long but I did really like how it turned out so I think it was worth the effort. I also like doing those stamp letters like really messily. I know some people try to do them neat or like cover it up if it goes wrong but I think like all the extra little bits around the edge or like the letters gone a bit wrong or wonky I just think it all looks really cool and I enjoy embracing the imperfections of it so I was quite happy with these titles. As well as the title of each song and a bit of collage, in every section I chose some lyrics that stood out to me from that song and wrote them down, which sometimes is hard to choose because I love so many of Taylor Swift's lyrics. And then the rest of the space I used for writing about my impressions of each song. So I wrote day one impressions and talked about what I thought of the song after a couple of listens. But I left a space in every section because I know that my opinions on these songs evolve so much over time. And I thought it would be interesting to leave a space to kind of write about what I think about the songs maybe after like a fortnight to be on theme. And it kind of drives me a little bit crazy looking at it because I know this spread will look so much better to me once all of the gaps are completely filled in. But I think it's worth it to leave that gap just because it'll be so interesting to compare my initial thoughts with what songs I really like after a certain amount of time. So I'm going to be strong, I'm going to leave the gap and I'm going to fill it in much later on once my opinion on the songs has developed a bit more just for the sake of being able to make that comparison. And I can always revisit this journal and show you how that looks when it's finished as well. We're now onto the third spread of song titles. This is where I realised it was actually quite a big undertaking. And as you'll see in this one, I was pretty tired when I made it. So I went wrong in irreparable ways with these titles. So I did have to actually go back and cover some of them up, even though I said I would embrace the imperfections. Some things I just could not keep. My phone died in the middle of the time lapse when I was creating this one which I was a bit sad about but you've seen me create this style of page for all the other song titles so you kind of get how it goes. Here's how my Torture Poets Department journal spreads are looking the next morning. So I think this is like day three after the album release now. So the nails have all been peeled off, unfortunately, and I've made three pages of song track titles. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I printed off some pictures. These ones in the corner here are for another Taylor Swift journal page that I've planned. You might be able to guess what it is, but that's for a different video. The rest of them are from the Fortnite video with Post Malone, which I really enjoyed and I wanted to make a journal spread about. So I cut out all of these pictures and then this is basically me just sticking them all down and adding in some writing about what I liked about the video but mainly about any references or easter eggs that could be found within it. This is how the finished spread for the Fortnite music video turned out. It was like a nice little palette cleanser. And then I was a busy bee off camera and I went and finished off the rest of the song title spread. So there was two more spreads with 12 more songs. And then I basically made a space and wrote about every single song on the album, except one, which is the last song on the album, the manuscript. So that's what this spread is about. The left hand side of the page is gonna be kind of about the manuscript, me writing my day one impressions. And then the right hand page is gonna be about this poem that can be found at the back of the CD box, which I didn't actually get the CD, but my friend Lucy did and she let me scan in her copy onto sticker paper so I could use it in my journal spreads.
and there we go that's now eight spreads about the torture poets department i hope you enjoyed making them with me i have one more that i'd like to make but i didn't get to fit it into this video it's a totally different aesthetic i made this collage on shuffles about the lyrics to the prophecy the song that i really like on the album and so i think i might make a spread with this kind of aesthetic but maybe make it in my onion skin journal because i think it would work really well there but for now for the first week of the album we released these are the pages i made so the manuscript page the five pages of song titles and descriptions, the music video analysis for Fortnite, and then of course the Torture Poets Department title page itself. I'll show you a little flip through of them in the garden as well, and the Robin will be joining you in watching this one. It was very interested in this journal. Thank you so much if you've watched all the way to the end. It was such an enjoyable time to capture my reflections about this new album in here and to share the process with you. I hope you really liked it. And like I mentioned at the start, if you would really like to see any more like Taylor Swift journal stuff, I could do a flip through of what's in there, let you know my plans for it. And I'd also really love to make that friendship bracelet video that I was talking about. So please let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Friday, so turn on notifications to make sure that you don't miss them. And until then, happy album release week. I hope you enjoy all of the buzz around the Tortured Poets department. It's a great time to be a Taylor Swift fan. And also, of course, happy journaling. Bye.